All right, thought I'd do a, a quick update on uh, my various uh, mycelium uh, experiments. And here, I don't know how well this is going to show up. Uh, I, I added some more cardboard to the king oyster mushroom mycelium I had growing. Unfortunately, there are spots... Um, let me see how visible this is. It's hard to it's hard to see my camera. Yeah, I don't know if you can see those little spots right right there on the cardboard. Those little green spots. That's uh, contamination. That's um, trichoderm trichodermia or whatever it's called. And there's uh, there's a few other spots that are hard to see. One of the advantages of having a clear plastic cover on a container that you're using is you can see the contamination before you open it up so that you don't the moment you open a container like this you are spreading those spores into your environment so this is going to go outside and I'll dispose of this and sterilize it uh, using a bleach solution outside. I'm not even going to open that one up. With a, a, a container like this you can't see what you got until you open it up so if there's contamination, you, you could uh, spread the contamination out. This actually looks pretty good. This is the uh, mycelium growing on uh, grocery uh, torn up grocery bags. And as you can see, the mycelium has spread pretty well through this. And I think this is about ready to uh, stick in some kind of media. This is uh, oyster mushrooms on bags. And let's see, this is gray oyster mushrooms on egg cartons. Uh, egg cartons seem to work fairly well. I, I don't know how well it shows up here, but there's a lot of white in this. Let's see if I can put this where it's a little more visible. No, I'll just pick it up. Yeah, the mycelium growth is kind of... It's got mycelium all through it, but it doesn't seem to be continuing to grow. So it's good for starting it, but it doesn't seem to like to grow in it very well once it's going. At least with the with this oyster mushroom. Let's see. Um, here's another one in a clear blister pack, uh, yellow oyster mushrooms. And as you can see, that uh, this is quite white with uh, with mycelium. And today is uh, May 22nd, and these I started these on uh, March 22nd, so two full months. Um, you can see there's quite a nice uh, mycelial growth in this. Pull this apart. Yeah, now inside that is nice mycelial growth. How well that shows up. You can see the mycelium running from the bits all over the, the interior of this. And I think what I'm going to do with this is I've got some coffee grounds and I'm just going to sprinkle little coffee grounds and I sterilized my hands earlier and these coffee grounds I've kept in the refrigerator so they should be in pretty good shape. So I'm going to put a little coffee grounds in there and see if the mycelium will grow into that and I'll do a follow up on that later on. And I've got another uh, yellow oyster mushroom on uh, pieces of egg carton cardboard. Yeah, I've got some. This is incidentally, I'm, I always keep a, a napkin soaked in alcohol with me when I'm doing this to keep surfaces clean and reduce the risk of contamination. Mm. And this stuff, it, I mean, it's growing all over the lid, and it has thoroughly uh, colonized this uh, these egg carton bits. Basically, a shredded egg carton. There, as you can see inside of there, the mycelium is is running very aggressively in there. So I'm going to introduce that into some kind of growing medium in the near future. And this particular container, uh oh, <laughs> that wasn't smart. Come on. 
it's very hard to open and I just put it together wrong um, is a lot more airtight than most of the ones that I use and, and it seems to have done better than the ones that allow for more air uh, to get into it so I'm not sure if it's a humidity issue or uh, if it just grows better with lower uh, fresh air exchange so that's uh, oh I also have some others here and I wanted to save to last because I'm pretty sure I've got contamination in uh, these this is a straw with coffee grounds that I put in with some oyster mushroom um, you can see there's a little bit of mycelium still surviving in here but not much and I've seen some mycelium on on the on some of the straw, but it just doesn't seem to be spreading very well in this. And I I think partially that's because it's loose, and every time I pick it up, it moves around, breaks the mycelial connections. This one, um, oyster mushrooms, uh, mycelium under straw with coffee grounds. Um, as you can see through the container lid, there's some pretty good myceliation in, in various parts of this but it hasn't covered the entire thing and it's probably not going to show up real well in the camera but I can see some maybe you can see it right there there's some yellow contamination this is one of the competing uh, contaminating uh, fungi and uh, there's not much but my rule is if it's contaminated, it gets thrown out. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these both and and uh, try some just plain straw in the near future.